What's up guys? In the last video I showed you my Ashira set build. Um, so now in this video I'm going to do two things. I'm going to show you how to farm the re the materials needed for um, the Oggild set as well as for Ashira's vestments. We'll go ahead and do the Oggilds. In this video we'll do Oggilds. Um, Uh, Shira's vestments is really simple, so that'll be another that'll be a another video. All right, so for let's go take a look at an og hilled piece right here. So for og hilled pieces, I need this shard of Einstein plate. But first of all, before that, let's just make sure I have enough of the item that I need, and for for me, I'm going to be replacing these bracers with the og -Hield bracer. So, I need to make sure I have more of these. But let's, just, let's craft one. We have one in our bank. Let's see. Let's see what we roll on the bracer. Fire skill 17%. 100 resist. Yeah. Okay. That int roll is pretty low. The vitality roll is whatever. The resist is nice. And that fire damage is okay. Um, but what we really want is crit hit chance. Um, I don't think you can get crit hit damage on this. Let's, you know, if you don't know what you can get on there, it's always good to go here and uh, and take a look. So, there we go. Let's put this piece in there. We can roll elemental damage, crit hit chance. We can roll int armor, crit hit chance. Vitality armor, crit hit chance. Yeah. You see, we got a good. Let's. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and farm more. We're gonna farm more of these because. The resist is a nice roll, but we don't care. We don't really need the resist, to be honest. We don't really need the vitality. We do need the int, but we don't need that int. Fire skills damage is nice. But basically, we want to get the trifecta. We want like int, either crit hit chance, or fire skills, or, or physical damage. So we want... I don't know. Yeah, you know, at least I want my int to be in the upper 25% of rolls. And this is not good. So, I mean, I'm looking for like 475 int at least. So, we'll hold on to that. And right now, let's just go and take a look at how to farm Einstein plate. Einstein plate, that's what you need. Those comes off, come, those things can be found off of the ghost, the ghouls. Um, so where can we go? We can go to Act 2. Oops, that's Act 1. Okay, well you can go to Act 1 too. In Act 1, they're found at the Festering Woods. Um, not this one. You want either Feklar's Ghost or Hawthorne Gable. Uh, those are our two bounties. Um, and found at the Cemetery of Forsaken in the Matriarch Bones. So none of those quests are available. So we'll check out Act 2. Act 2, we can do the Tomb of uh, Kandab or whatever. Kandakab, he's not there. Or we could do Kill the Archivist or the Tome Keeper. So neither of those quests are available. Now there are other rare... There are other rare uh, mobs that drop those items, but why go around searching for it when I can just look for these quests and guarantee the rare mob spawn by doing the bounty, right? So. Yeah, you know, this is easy to find. You just Google like legendary materials Diablo three, and you know, you know, you'll find out where these uh, what mobs spawn these things and whatnot. So here we go. Act two, Sultan Cole. No, Prisoners of Kumir. No, those are not the ones I want. Act one, Fields of Misery. No, nope. Cemetery Forsaken, Freshman Woods. Nothing. Okay, so boom, exit. And this is all I'm gonna do. I just keep keep doing it. And this is a lot faster than running around the map and. Uh, 
you know, checking to see if, you know, Joe Schmo spawned at the fucking Fields of Misery or some shit. You know, this is... Uh, I mean, it might be a little tedious for some people. Score Mara, no, daughter, no, no, okay. One, Fields of Misery, freshman, last one, no, okay, so exit. This might be a little boring for, it's kind of boring, right? But I guarantee this is a way to guarantee loot, like... Well, maybe not guaranteed, but, well, no, yeah, so it's a way to just get these good pieces that you're going to need. I'm only going to farm two of them, okay, because I have, uh, I only have uh, four shards right now. Uh, Curse Pit, no, for the Cave, no. Festering with Hawthorne Gable, okay, so there's one. Growler, what does Growler spawn on? And also, you, you, you should often look to see what other things you might need to farm, like... You know, like there's a quest for Growler there. I don't know if I need Growler, but... This is right here. I got my full army. It's like I got a party of four. Without my opponent having those crazy party buffs. Or crazy excess mob buffs. Probably much easier to farm on from that one, right? But oh my goodness! Oh my damn! That thing works on it. I'm surprised that that works. Now let's grab some stuff. Ken has engaged ghoul? What? Really? No, you want to try to move around the map. Keep <laughs> moving around the map, especially when you have propped all your followers. Just make the most. Um, look at that. I'm assuming that the hex like increases the damage that I deal on mobs. I, you know, I have no empirical evidence of that, but it just seems that way. Where the fuck is Hawthorne Gable, man? Seriously, dude. Bunch of mobs. We look for good old Mr. Hawthorne Gable. I know you exist, bro. Oh, there we go. oh no, that's not. Oh yeah, you would be hiding all the way in the back over here. What a guy. Oh, oh, oh. And there's Shard of Einstein Plate. Dropped it once. Nice. Torment 2, he has a. Uh, I don't know what the drop rate is in Torment 2. Um, let's just go check the map to see if there's any other. No. So now we exit and come back up. SFX, who are you? Let's go check what the drop rate is really quickly. Uh, the drop rate Torment 1 is 30%, Torment 2 is about 37%. So. You're like a one, in, a little better than a one in three chance to make sure that if we kill one of these, he drops them. So that is nice. Fields of Mergeries, nothing. Calbium. Tome Keeper, that's one of the guys we gotta kill. So we're gonna go to the Tome Keeper. Now, Tome Keeper is kind of far into the uh, the map, so we're just gonna run straight to him. We're just gonna try to find him and get to his ass. And and this is the best way to farm a bunch of stuff, like if you need a match for a Pyro Morella. That's currently something I'm really trying to farm as a is a better shield bash shield for my Crusader. I don't really use shield bash a lot, but I need more time. Oh, it's the shit. Fucking fire 
fire change, you lost it. Goals. And there's so much, so many mobs on the screen right now, like... I have access to so many minions and things of that nature that they can really tank a lot of the things that would normally, normally, normally be problems for me. And there it is, another shard of Einstein plate. So we easily just got two, like we can craft two sets of the bracers now. That's what we're going to do, but let's just get this thing right here. Magda, really? Crazy hole. Magda's tormented soul, nice. So now I make me something else. What's up? Did you forget to eat again? No. In fact. I decided to get the day's eating out of the way all at once. I kept at it until I couldn't take another bite. Yeah, so it's actually good to get married. Being a mortal is very common. You gotta still live here. Uh. So. We farmed the two pieces of this Enstide plate, so we're gonna go ahead and create the two bracers. Right? No. Wait, what is this? This is for well, King's Destiny. What is King's Destiny? Let's take a look at that real quick. I don't know what that set does. Ooh, attack speed and magic find. Hmm. That was actually pretty interesting. Maybe I'm my other guy. All right, so let's let's create the two bracers. So why can't I only create one? Oh my! That costs quite a bit of blue material. I have to farm quite a bit of this. So all right, well, let's grab one. Okay, more fire, more int, and crit hit. So this is pretty good. We're actually not going to build another one. That that is a pretty good bracer. Let's compare the bracer side to side, side by side. Let's put this on real quick. Um, so this one does more more fire damage. It has more int vitality. We're going to reroll. And it has crit hit chance. So that is pretty nice. And if anything, we can just try to roll the crit hit chance higher. But I think most likely we'll replace the vitality. So this one is definitely going to stay. So we're going to remove that. Now let's just compare what we have now. Oh yeah, this, this one is loads better, so we're going to do that. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get rid of these. Ah, this is easy to farm, so yeah, we'll get rid of it. One forgotten soul. Alright, so we got forgotten souls back. Put these back in here. And now I'm going to show you how to farm. Uh, what is this thing called? Where is Ashura set? Uh, this thing, Iron Wolf's Doctrine, okay? The very simple way to farm it. So we're going to leave the game. And I'm going to farm three of these, okay? So I go to campaign, change the quest. I want to go to Act 2, 
blood and sand waterlogged passage okay and that is okay we'll just change it to torment one because i'm just going to run through the the thing really quickly and what i what i suggest is when you actually try farming it farm it on the highest torment level possible but also um yeah, make sure it's like single target damage, highest torment level possible, um, all cooldowns, you know, like burn all your cooldowns, because it's, it's only one mob. So we're just going to farm them over and over, so I'll oh, run this. Yeah, I need these blues, so I'm going to grab that. Blues are kind of important for me right now. And now that I don't have the, um, not using the original bracer, um, it's pretty much essential that I don't use Pierce the Veil. Because I don't have a phenomenal bracer for it. Go to your north, the northeast segment of the map. You want to go to the next waypoint, right? This is really simple. The best way to farm this map. And this guy, Satharis, or whatever his name is, this is the guy who drops that. He's got a good chance of dropping it. Kill him. And he dropped one, so there's one. Got pretty lucky there, I guess. So we're going to come right here. Go right here, get the checkpoint. TP back home. And then exit thing. Okay. Because you put it on the highest difficulty you think you're going to do. I'll just put it on Torment 3. Um, and then resume the game. Okay. Of course you want to change the uh, cooldown. I'm going to change this to a damage spell, so... Like, I could probably put a Pierce the Veil, but I'm just too lazy. Like, I probably should change one of those to Pierce the Veil, but it's too lazy. Not necessary. It's only three. And I'm just going to blow all my cooldowns right here. One, four, three, this, get him. Everything on him. He died, and there's a second one. Just like that. That's it. And then come back out, teleport back home, and farm another one. This is a really, really, really simple way. At the, the torment level, the greater the chance of this thing dropping. So torment three, we're talking about forty-four percent. So that's almost half. So we're gonna see it half the time. Torment six is seventy-seven percent. So and drop. So we got two. Get one more. A one more would be nice. Oh. One, four, three. Go on him. And that's it, he's dead. No, we got lucky, we got three. So that's fine. So that's it. And just like that, guys. I mean, that was so easy. That, that was literally like a minute and a half or something of farming to get the three copies that we got. So that's a good, easy way to farm Ashir's Vestments and a very easy way to farm Oghill's uh, Authority.